What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. I'm everyone's boy, the Ticket Monster. Today, I'm about to give y'all a review of Elimination Chamber 2017, man. This pay per view is rocking. This pay per view was off the charts, man. Hey, man. All I gotta say is, are y'all ready for WrestleMania? Are y'all ready? For Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt, but before I get into this review, man, I'm just, I'm just telling y'all right now, I do mad videos, I do other gaming videos like Pokemon, um, I got, um, wrestling videos, so if y'all just want to check that out in the description below, just hit that subscribe button, I appreciate it, how about the channel, but let's get into this review, y'all, alright, first off, Becky Lynch versus Mickey James. It's, I think this was a good starter, man. This was a good match. I think both of these women put up. Mickey James being away from the WWE for about seven years, if you're not counting NXT. She did a hell of a match. Becky Lynch out here. She um the match I, the match started it was a slow paced match. You know, the crowd wasn't really into it as you can see. But it was technical at the same time. Good countering, good face off, like match evening. Go out, go, go out the ring. This try out with kind of a bra, hair pulling, all that. It was a good technical feel to it. But towards the end, it kind of, kind of sped up, and then Becky Lynch got the win with the uh, fast roll up. I like, I like, I like the finish. She was good, man. Mickey James still look, she's still elite. I think so. I mean, she still can be a champion. So it's Becky Lynch, man. But I think these two women put up. Um, it wasn't the best match on the card, but it was a good match. These women. They showed up. They showed up. You know? Let's, let's get to the next match. Next, we got Apollo Crews, Kalisto versus Dolph Ziggler. Before the match can even begin, Ziggler out of nowhere kinda comes out and hit this joke with Kalisto, man. He he beat this boy up. This man, he, he Kalisto was so hurt he couldn't even compete in the match. Dolph Ziggler hit his back against the, the not even the barricades, but the the glass, I don't want to say glass, but the metal of the SmackDowns in Kalisto was just hurt, man. So it was really a one on one match. Apollo Crews and Dolph, and Dolph Ziggler, man. Apollo, he was, I mean, he was he was getting his butt beat. Dolph Ziggler was giving this man the work. He, I mean, it's not, it's nothing much I can say about that, man. But I will say this Apollo, he, in the, begin, in the beginning, Apollo was mad, so that's a good thing, but he. He needs to be more aggressive. With his offensive moves, he needs to be more deadly. The man is strong. The man has 250 muscles like Brock Lesnar. The man is big time. He got good look. He's athletic, man. He has to be more aggressive towards Dolph Ziggler. He, Dolph Ziggler just beat your partner, man. Your friend. Apollo needed to be in there and just go off on his brother, man. And even though Ziggler got the most of them, like towards the end, he was struggling. But in that beginning, Apollo Crews. He had to be more aggressive. More aggression, man. Lay this joke out. Hurt him, man. But I, it's probably more to it than, than what I'm saying, man. But during the match, Kalisto came back out. But Herculean effort, man. Had, he had some back pain action going on. But he came out. He tagged Apollo. He did his due diligence on that boy, Dolph Ziggler. And then I tagged Apollo Crews back in. Apollo did his special. One, two, three. I mean, Apollo, he, he needed help on that one, but I mean, they, they did what they did, man. But after the match, Dolph Ziggler attack. Um, Apollo Crews and Kalisto with chairs, man. This man, Dolph Ziggler, is out of control. This man must be stopped. But then, when Kalisto's outside, Dolph Ziggler breaks Apollo Crews' foot two times. Unbelievable. Are you listening? Nope. I mean, where's Kalisto when you need him? I know he's on outside. He's got to beat up. But man, this dude, Apollo, who, who knows who knows if he will ever be the same again. This man's foot was yeah. disentangled, dismembered in that chair. We've seen what chairs, those chair injuries have done. Look, 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 look at King. I think a couple of years ago, I forgot who did it, but somebody broke his ankle. I think it was a Harper or somebody, a, a wide family, but somebody broke his ankle. Look what happened to Goldberg. Goldberg could barely even walk, because I remember, I think um, Batista did a bounty on, on Goldberg, like 03 or whatever, and then I think I think Goldberg came out the next week or was it two or three weeks? But he he still he, he was hurt. Um, he wasn't hundred percent. But we just have to see what happens with Apollo, man. But hopefully, hopefully Apollo's on the TV for a while and hopefully he comes back with a vengeance. 
uh, get get this man a character because he, he's too talented to not have a character. So we'll just have to see um, what happens in the uh, future. Next match, we got this tag team. It's not that's, that's not tag team gauntlet, but it's tag team something. Tag team rush, I call it, man. But yeah, yeah. All these tag teams, basically all the tag teams in SmackDown. You got American Out, Breeze Angle, Rhino Heat, Uso, and then Fish, man. But the, the two guys to start off was Rhino and Heat versus Breeze Angle. And then I have to say, man, I wish Breeze Angle had more TV time because these guys were entertaining. Especially when the guys are going, Ooh, we, you know, doing that giving like with the, uh, the whistles and the wee hoo, wee hoo. That's entertaining. I wish they would be on TV more, but they look good in this match. Against Rhino and Heat, man, they was getting the best of those guys, but Rhino took um one of the jokers out with a gore. So they're out. Then we had the Vlog the Vlog the Vlog villains, whatever those guys are. Rhino he took those jokers out. But then we had Rhino and Heat versus the Usos. The Usos look so good. The Usos and their mannerisms, the just the simple things, the way they walk into the ring. Like, we chilling. We not I, we not running to the ring. I'm not gonna walk fast. I'm chilling. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep doing me. We, we so we some we some gangsters, some thugs, the Usos, you know, the gold teeth, the hat, you know, they walking slow. I love it. I love it. Just little things like that. Those would get those are what get the casual fan watching wrestling. Characters like that, just taking his time, don't need to rush like that. But the Usos, they came up short. I thought they was gonna win. They did some good stuff in this match, man. But, um, no, they did win. They did. Yeah, they did beat Rhino and Heat Slater. They, I think they beat him with a frog splash or something like that. I mean, Rhino and Heat, they were tired, though. They went to two tag teams. They were tired. But then American Alpha came out. I thought this was the last tag team, honestly. I forgot about Ascension. But Rhino, I mean, American Alphas and Usos, man, these these guys put up. I honestly thought the Usos were going to win, man. They did a lot of good stuff. The super kicks. The, the, uh, the cheating, man. They... They, I thought I thought they I thought they was gonna I thought honestly honestly they was gonna win but um it didn't happen. Usos looked good though, but American Alpha was just too much. But in the end, I love this the most the most because Usos got a lot of heat for this. After the match, they they like we done with that we done with that is they came out and they beat up on American Alpha after after the match. They put these brothers out, laid them out in the ring, laid them out outside the ring. Usos was not having it, man. And after it, I swear, bro, if I had to put money on it, I would have put money on it. The assistant came out, and on, on SmackDown, they won their little match, man. So you could see, oh, maybe they win it. Assistant came out looking mean, aggressive, just deadly. They look good. But, man, um, they just couldn't, they, they, they couldn't win. And I'm just like, I, I don't, I don't want to ever... I don't want to ever see the Ascension on TV ever again, bro. On SmackDown or Raw, bro. Or oh, maybe SmackDown. How do you... Jason Jordan is laid out in the ring. These guys are out. Ascension still loses the match. Like, t t tell me, how, tell me how's that, how that happened. Ascension still loses the match? Because I'm looking at these guys looking big, strong, they're coming out. I'm thinking, oh, man, it's going to be an upset. But no, Ascension couldn't pull it out. So I don't want to ever see these tag team on SmackDown. Because if, if you can't win that, you would never be a tag team champion. Never, man. It's just one of those things like, ah, that, they, they had a chance, to, they had a chance, man. But it didn't happen. So I don't, I don't want to see them guys ever again on SmackDown for a while, man. For a tag team championship, I just can't take them seriously anymore. But let's go on to the next match. Natalya and Nikki Bella. This match right here was honestly... Arguably the most physical match of, on the card, man. Well, I wouldn't even go that far. I say out of all the females, this was the most physical match. Natalia and Nikki, these women been going at it for months. I've been, I love the storyline. Now this is now, now this is a storyline, a legit storyline. Talking about oh, you just on top because of your looks and you're going out with John Cena. You know, it's my time. Natalia saying, oh, that that should have been me. This is I want the spotlight. This is legit. I'm loving it. I'm loving the heat between these two. It's real. It's fiery. It's something new. Man, and I'm so proud of Natalia because she's she's being a good heel. Because, I mean, in the beginning, she wasn't getting any... She was getting cheered and stuff like that. But now she's getting those boos. And in, in, the, in, in the little things in this match, effort. She was trying to get... I just... It just... When you're watching, like, some of these stuff, you can just... 
just can you can just tell effort. She was trying her best to get booed, and she did. And that's why I'm so proud of her, bro. Cause she's been trying so hard to get booed, man. And she's finally getting it, man. But and the match was basically in tight in the tight. It was toying with Nikki, she, you know, toying with her tail. But Nikki, she was being physical outside, outside the ring, man. She just she didn't care. You know, and it was kind of a mashup at the end. Like, cause I'm, I was looking at it, I'm like Natalia, going the ring. Nikki Bell's on the ground. It's like eight seconds count, but she didn't make it. Cause Nikki just being, just being physical out there. She was physical. You got, I mean, you gotta give her credit, man. Nikki Bella, she came out here and she was being physical. Like, she was being physical. As um, she was being. You gotta give her credit. A lot of people saying, "Oh, she got carried during the match." She was physical. I'm giving her credit. All, all the credit in the world. She was physical. She did her part, bro. She looked good out there. Great, great match. And then after the match, Nikki came out the tie again. So the physicality is there, man. And even in the back room, more fighting backstage. These women do do not like each other, bro. So I'm loving that, man. And that's arguably it's one of the best storylines on SmackDown. You gotta give SmackDown credit. Because they know how to do storylines. At least when it comes to women, look at Raw. You know, just three women, really. And you can't count Nia, Nia Jax for, but they're doing their thing over there, man. Next, the best match of the night and the most physical. Randy Orton versus Luke Harper. A lot of people, everybody had Randy Orton when he has to win. You know, he, he's hot right now. 12-pound champion. Still on top of the WWE. Top five in the game, you know. Harper, but a lot of people said after after this match, Harper was gonna he, he was gonna put a main event showing and he was gonna be in that main event platter. And I think he did it in this match. Luke Harper looked he looked good, man. This was a hell of a match, especially when Harper hit Randy Orton with two super kicks. That first super kick, he was like wobbly. That was cool, man. And it was a back and forth match. They went outside. You know, Harper did Randy Orton um back suplex on the um on the table that was cool it was just a physical match just a match two brothers going at it just not caring they didn't care just physical i'm gonna beat you down i'm gonna hurt you man and that's what they did and randy orton with that rko looked great the man looked randy orton he still looked good he still got a good four or five years on top and that's a fact you know i'm thirsty right now man my throat hurt Water tastes old. Ugh. But man, hell of a match. The best match of the night, man. I I, I, I would say watch that match over again. And then if you guys don't think that's the best match, because that match put up, they put up, and I'm, I'm proud of those guys, man. And talking about being proud of somebody, Naomi versus Alexa Bliss. This match right here, great storytelling. Great um, storytelling saying, Alexa Bliss is being cocky. She's not taking Naomi seriously. She can't even tell she got the gum, threw the gum at Naomi. Like, she's not taking her seriously. But Naomi just kept fighting. She's just too athletic. The the rear view, the rear end, the rear view um, um, move she has. Naomi's just, so, so, she's the most athletic women's wrestler in the game, in the world. She she puts up, I think I think being a former um, Orlando, Magic cheerleader. I think that has a lot to do has to, has a lot to do with the physic the um the um flex, the flexibility the the um explosiveness because it shows. Um, Naomi she's so just out of this world athletic. She can jump over anybody and it shows. Just she puts up man. I'm so proud. She's gonna, hopefully she has to WrestleMania as champion, women's champion. She deserved it man. Past few SmackDowns. You know, Naomi's been showing. She's been putting up, man. I'm proud of her. She just and I give it to Alexa Bliss, man. She's a great, great heel. Just she's just she's one of those heels you look at. She's like a um, whiny little witch, you know, like a troll. It's, it's amazing. She's a great heel. She's amazing. You know, I didn't watch NXT, so I didn't know a lot about her. But she she puts up. I'm proud of her. I'm really proud of her because she she has come into her own. She has really come into her own, man. So I'm just proud of her in that regard, man. But Heck of a match, man. I enjoyed it. As y'all notice, Naomi and Becky won. Mickey lost and Bliss lost. Hope it might be a tag team match on SmackDown. Um, we'll see, man. But the main event, the main event of the night, 
Baron Corbin versus John Cena versus AJ Styles versus Dean Ambrose versus The Miz versus Bray White. I have to say first, but this this chamber looked a little bit padded down. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying this is the guy's idea, the wrestler's idea. I'm just like, whoa! It look it's, it looks different from where 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 it was like originally, because on the floor it was in the like the first couple of elimination chambers it was like metal. It was like steel on the floor, but and you look you look at the elimination chamber now. It's like pads on the ground. I'm like, damn, it's padded. I mean, you, you, you feel me? It's like, it looks kind of padded down. P, a PG chamber, is that, if that exists, man. But I just noticed that chamber looks so different. Looks kind of weird. But, I mean, it is what it is, man. These guys put up. Corbin was the first guy out. I think he, had, I think he got a, uh, he got a rolled up. Roll up. I think Dean Ambrose rolled him up. I forgot, I kind of forgot who rolled him up. I think it was Dean. I think he was the first one out. And then he had Baron, uh, Baron Corman. He was so pissed off. He he did end of days on everybody from AJ Cena. I don't know if he did AJ, but I think he did Dean Ambrose. He did do Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose was just laying there. The Miz, it was a Miz turn to come come in. He was just standing there. He came in. One, two, three. Dean Ambrose out. And then we just got, and then Bray Wyatt comes in. Bray Wyatt doing what he doing. It's just the Abigail and everybody. And then it just took one AA, the Miz, the Miz out. I mean, I didn't think he was going to lose like that. One AA. I would have said, mm, I, actually, I had Bray Wyatt winning it. But if you had to ask me to tie the final three people, I would have said Bray Wyatt, Cena, and AJ. But I mean, I was going for the Miz. I want the Miz to win. But I knew, you know, I, I'm not shocked. I'm not mad. Or anything like that. Miz did what he did. He had a good hot shoot when he came in. I think everybody did had a had a pretty good hot shoot when they came in. But the Miz looked good. Um, Ambrose jumped off the um, the chamber the chamber thing. That was cool. I mean, that's the lunatic French for you. And then AJ Styles climbing up the thing with John Cena being on that boy Cena. Those guys was physical. Jumping off the, the chambers and stuff like that. It was a great match. Form phenomenal forearm and all that good stuff, good stuff, man. But Bray Wyatt, he took out John Cena, AJ Styles. Bray Wyatt looked good. Sister Abigail and everybody, and I'm proud of him, man. But that dude, that dude Bray Wyatt, he put up. Simple as that. The man put up, man, and uh, hey, I can't wait for him. Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. That's the main. That's WrestleMania, man. But uh. It was a great pay per view, and after if I had to rate the, rate the pay per view, I would I would say eight point four, eight point three. It was definitely a B pay per view, you know. It was definitely a, it was a great pay per view and everything, but I mean, I'm not. It's the only reason the only reason I would say it's an A because maybe the Apollo match, maybe the uh, da, 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 even that Bliss and Naomi match, you know, because. Bliss, when she tried to go for the, uh, it was a mistake. It was stuff happened. She tried to go for the cover with the ropes. She was on one, you know. But I understand. It was a, it was a great pay per view. I enjoyed it, man. But hey, man. Until next time, your boy. I'm Ava's boy, the Tiki Moss. If you haven't subscribed, you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. I do Madden videos, Pokemon, PS4 videos, anything y'all want, man. Just hit that subscribe button, man. I'll get back to y'all. Find me on Instagram, Twitter, the Tiki Moss. Do what y'all gotta do. Until then. I'm your boy, I'm Amos boy, peace.